Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today is the 70th Windy Darling Wednesday. I can't believe it either. 70? I've done 70 of these. That's crazy to me. So how are you guys doing today? I have on some spoopy makeup. I've got purples and oranges and like purple on my lower lashes. Can y'all see that? I love colored mascara and the ColourPop ones are really really good. That's gonna be coming to my favorites video. It's gonna be coming at the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. But what am I gonna talk about today? So, um, let's just start with the expo. Oh my gosh, okay, I didn't get any footage. No footage whatsoever. I took one picture of me and my girl. I'll put that here so you can see. We had fun and um, lots of stuff, lots of cool stuff. Um, so many, I have, a, I have a hair on my face. It's, it's more than likely cat hair. Uh, more than likely from Merlin, um, and uh, it's it's migrating. It's it keeps moving. Okay, I have the Ciate glitter flip on my lips. Oh, I forgot how much I love this. So the expo, you guys, so much cool stuff. Like we met so many vendors. Um, I have all my stuff sitting in front of me, so I can show you everything I bought, including this little guy right here. I am in love with this. I will link all the shops below that I bought stuff from. I think this one was Darwin and Wallace. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. And so I paired it with some octopus earrings today because I wanted to wear it. And I've had these earrings forever, but I went there looking for pointer rings, like pointer finger rings because mine broke and I really wanted to replace them. Unfortunately, I could not find any that fit me or any that I was just really, really drawn to, but I had to get this guy. So uh, we had a blast. This was one of the first things, actually the first thing I bought, I couldn't pass up. The first thing that I purchased though were these adorable back pillows. And I wanted them all, but these are the two designs that I got. Look at his little button eyes, oh my goodness. Um, so this one has like crystals and stars and um, crystal balls. And I just, I needed this in my life. It also has little moons on it. Oh, it's so cute and it's a bat. And you know I have a pillow obsession, so you guys will see that in my room tour. This is the second bat, and it has like little, looks like oracle cards all on it. It has that same like print as the other one here, but you've got like the hand, and you've got a bunch of skulls, and a cat. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, Got a spider over here. Just, yes. I totally had to have those very much. That was the first thing I purchased from the expo. And then I was like, all right, I done broke it. Now I'm going to have to buy everything. But what we did do was we went all around and we were like, okay, what do we need? What can we not live without? And clearly I couldn't live without those pillows. They were actually on a first time going around seeing that I was like, okay, I need these because it looked like they were only just the ones that they had there. So I'm definitely going to be stocking their shop and buying other ones with different prints because these bat pillows are just adorable. And they were only $10 a piece. So I was like, easy, 20 bucks right there, done. This was only $20 too. So, you know, I love weird jewelry and uh, I love this so much. So yeah, that was one of the things I spent um, that I got from the expo. And then I got these candles from a company called Dark Light. And this one is Autumn's Death, which is eucalyptus and burnt wood. And I, I'll tell you about my story with that. And then I got Serpent's Breath, which is patchouli and clove. And these guys, I haven't lit them yet because I'm afraid to light them because I'm going to fall in love and I'm going to want the bigger candles and regret not buying the bigger candles, which I can order online. But anyway, <laughs> um, I did get the little ones. These are $12 candles. The bigger ones were... $24. I got two little candles and this one right here, the eucalyptus and burnt wood. Okay. So there is just something about burning wood. I've said this story probably before. Um, my dad was a fireman all through when I was growing up. So when he would go out on a fire the night before, he would come home the next morning. He would smell like burnt wood. He would smell like a house fire. And I know this is horrible because that scent that I love that I relate to my childhood is someone's house catching on fire and burning. Um, kind of a horrible thing to have as a favorite scent but it is burnt wood is like something so when I saw this one was like burnt wood I was like yes please I must have this in my life so I did pick up two candles from dark light I will be burning those soon I feel like if I want to burn these fall type candles it'll put me in the mood of my house the second I step out of my house that mood just goes right away because it is still hot still hot 
So the next thing I got from Painted Lady Trashins is this sticker, which I'm going to put that on my Prius. It says Halloween, it's a lifestyle. And that's 100% true. It is not just a holiday. It's a lifestyle, people. If you haven't uh, realized that yet around here, we do Halloween year round. Because I only had my card on me. I didn't have cash on me, which was a stupid move. Um, it was a $5 minimum. So your girl got herself a wet specimen. Now... I don't know if you know this about me, but I collect weird things. I have a random array of odd bugs that uh, I've found around the house, the yard. Um, my husband actually found one for me and kept it. Um, so yeah, I have a weird assortment of dead bugs. Uh, I don't have any wet specimens though until now. So she had uh, these little octopus tentacles. I don't know what it was up, what was up with me about the octopus, but. Um, I got three items with an octopus on it. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is the little wet specimen that I got. And they had a lot of uh, little wet specimens like that and a lot of different little creatures that were stuffed. Um, it's very expensive. Some of them were done very, very well. Really cool shops, like really, really cool shops. So there was one called um, The Worried Skull and I really liked the Aries one. So I got some stickers. So this is the Aries sticker. And then of course I see this guy and I need him. So I did get this octopus. Um, I really was digging this pumpkin guy. He actually, a, there was a painting of this one and it kind of, I kind of made a beeline for it because I saw this one. I was like, I need that. And then I saw that they had stickers. So he was pretty cool. And then this one was a discontinued one and I thought he looked pretty cool too. So um, just a neon creepy looking skull. I don't know where I'm going to stick these. I might actually get one of those like little shadow boxes and like kind of stick them in there. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But then I got this uh, spooky pack of little pins because I love pins. I do collect pins as well. And so I got this little three pack of spooky pins. So it was like five bucks for these. And I think the, I think I ended up spending like $12 there. So that's everything I got from the expo itself. I didn't really go crazy. Like I said, there was a lot I wanted and there was a bat that I wanted, but I said, okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to give myself a once around. And if it's there, when I come back, I'll get it. It was $45. And when I went back around, it was already gone and I knew it was going to sell out, but they had tons of them. Like there were literally hundreds of taxidermy bats. So it just mattered of what kind of background you wanted, what color bats you wanted, what you wanted. So this particular one was kind of folded and he was like facing down. He was like hanging and he just looked really cool. And there was ones that had their wings spread out. So yeah, I really wanted a taxidermy bat and a little shadow box. And there were, like I said, there were literal hundreds at this. Like almost everyone we stopped at had a taxidermy bat. There were a lot of really cool ones that had the death's head moth on there as well. They were super expensive. So I'm really not at that level where I can afford to spend that kind of money on a taxidermied animal or a stuffed bat. <laughs> Eventually I will have like those kind of weird oddities in my house. Uh, but for now I started with my wet specimen, which is my octopus tentacle. And yeah, so that's what I ended up getting at the expo. Like I said, I didn't go crazy. So we went through the expo, we went and ate Mexican food and we came back to the expo, went to the other half of the expo because it was split into two spots. It was huge. And then after we got through there, we went to the house of Hoodoo. And this is a really cool um, place in New Orleans. It was raining and they had this like really pretty, um, I want to say almost like, you know those terrariums where they have like the rounded like glass like you know what a terrarium is where you have the plants inside well anyway they had their front of the store was like that and they had like seating and plants and everything in there and it was just I could sit there all day and watch the rain and it was it started pouring once we were in there and it just uh, it was bliss I was like I really 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 just want to sit in here all day long I could have actually stayed in there they had candles lit and incense and of course, it was a witchy shop, so I loved it. Uh, but I ended up picking up some incense. Uh, it's because witches love incense. So I picked up this one. And I really can't explain the scent on this one at all. I Honestly, I don't know. It just smells really, really good. It just smells really good. And then I picked up the um, Nirvana Tree of Life and sacred ritual if you're ever in new orleans go check that place out again i'll have everything linked down below and then we went and had really yummy ethiopian food so i have a funny story about the bat so the next day 
was Sunday. So I go back, I'm, you know, I'm driving to work and I see what I think is a bat in the road. And so I text my husband, I'm like, babe, there's a dead bat in the road. Like it looks like a bat wing. Like I, I couldn't stop. I'm already running behind. I need to get to work. Can you please go get it for me? I laugh. I'm not thinking he's going to actually go get the dang bat for me or the bat. So he's like, where at? I tell him where it's at and I'm like, are you for real? I can get a taxidermy. That's awesome. You know, I'm like, it's, it's face down wings up. I, I don't know how damaged it is, but can you go check it out? So he drives over there and he's just like, it was a tire, that tire. Let me tell you about that tire. <laughs> he's like, babe, it's all over the road. How did you miss that? I'm like, I just saw the wings sticking up. I was like, tell me you thought it was a bat when you first rolled up on it. He's like, I did. I did. It looked like a bat. He's like, but it was a big bat if it was a bat. And I, then I kept looking and it was like, it's a tire. So yeah, he's like, the next time that we get a double paycheck, I'm going to need you to go ahead and get your glasses. And I agree. Yeah, I need to get my glasses. So that was pretty funny. He actually did drive over there and see that it was a, a, a tire, not a bat. So I have actually completed the face charts, you guys. I have them all right here. They're not 100% complete because... I, they are on paper, so it's kind of hard to actually do everything on paper, especially with face charts. So four week is going to be the last 13 days in October. So starting October 19th through the 31st, we're going to do a face chart a day. And I'm going to get started on doing the pictorials. I haven't done those yet, but I am finished with the face charts now and I did get them approved. So we're good. I'm going to start working on these and I'm excited. So here's the first one. It's just black and orange. So it's just opposite, like black on, you know, one eye, orange on the other, whatever. And so I wrote down some stuff here, but like a lot of this stuff is going to be left to your own imagination. Like you can do a black or an orange lip. Um, you can do a glitter gloss. That's optional. Um, but basically you want to just make sure that it's black up here and black down here, orange up here. You know, that's it. It's, it's not anything like crazy. I didn't want to do that because I don't know everyone's skill level. I've said this multiple times and I didn't want it to be something that it took everyone forever to get ready. We are supposed to come to work already with our face done. So I did make it where it was a lot easier that if you did have to do this at work, very quickly. That's day one. Uh, day two, I did a broken doll. And again, this is not the final form because it's on paper, but basically you got the, or you got the rounded cheeks. You've got the, um, you know, the little lines here for like the puppet almost. Um, uh, we got some broken spots and just big doll lashes. That's pretty much with that one. And then you can do like Whiten your waterline just to like make your eye look bigger. Um, lots and lots of lashes, a baby pink lid, a bright pink blush, lipstick bright red, like over exaggerated. So then day three, I did a vamp. She was definitely harder to draw, but basically I uh, even gave her little fangs right there. Um, so you got some blood dripping from your mouth. You got um, just like kind of a, a burgundy red shadow with uh, black on the outer. Um, you know, some like kind of red just kind of coming down like veins underneath the eyes so yeah and you like her neck tattoo <laughs> it's my instagram uh handle and i'll have pictorials for everybody so this one i need to actually fill out like instructions on but i haven't done that yet day four is like a cute clown slash kind of like jester um she kind of reminds me of a jester she kind of reminds me of like a joker almost um because of the colors i chose but basically it's it is what it is, over exaggerated mouth, purples and greens. You can do the triangles and then just a little button, red nose, uh, just a cute little clown, nothing really crazy. Uh, this one, I can do it better on my skin than I can draw it. It's the bat wing liner and then, you know, do like a peachy blush, um, orange eyeshadow, black underneath, and then a bat wing liner. It looks crazy on here, but, uh, and then lips were whatever color. I just happen to have purple right there and I just filled it in with purple. I think this one might be one of my favorites. This is day six and it is a pumpkin inspired, uh, look. It's basically, um, orange, black, and green. And I've got these little swirlies. I've got some gems and I have all the gems too. I told everybody I've got all the gems. I've got everything you need. Uh, and then paired with like an orange lip and some peachy, uh, blush. I really like this one. It just looked, um, pretty and you could, anybody could really, I think anybody could pull this one off. So this one might be a little more difficult because of the skull and 
honestly, I, you can erase on these things, but not very well. So this does not look like the final form either, but this is day seven, which is a glam skull. Um, so I just put some rhinestones. I just did purple. Uh, again, I'm working on a face chart, which I haven't done those in years. So it did not turn out as, you know, as great as I would like it to. But um, basically you got the lips and there wasn't too much to this one. When I get ready to do the pictorial, it's going to be a little bit more in depth. But again, drawing on face charts is not fun. The eyeshadow part's fun, but like everything else, no uh this one is basically day nine candy corn uh so we've got the white in the inner corner which you can't see then yellow then orange you've got black underneath orange in the waterline um these are just stickers but i'm gonna actually draw the candy corn on my skin but i have the stickers so in case anyone at work doesn't want to actually draw it on they can just put the sticker on their face uh and then i think black lips yeah black lips is what i chose for that one this one i actually got from a tutorial on here by Juliana Maria and I will link her video right here where I got this idea from the only thing that I decided to use because it was something that we all could get a hold of she used the Suva Beauty hydro liners we don't sell those and I figure what could I use that's liquidy that would be just as good of a red splatter and so this was the blood splatter and uh, so I figured we could use the Fenty Donna lip paint in uncensored and so go check out that tutorial like i said i'll have it linked um but basically it's white on the lid and then red underneath and then you take basically a tissue and you cover up um the, out everywhere else and then you basically flick the hydro liner or the fenty lipstick and you make like blood splatter so and then i did a red lip that one is totally not my idea this one right here is spider queen these are little gems that if anyone wanted to use the gems but i actually have spiders that we can take lash glue and stick them to our face so i have those red and black and then black and red underneath the eye lots of lashes a spider web here a dark like ombre lip dark on the outside and red in the center some spiders basically you're a spider queen really easy peasy like a lot of these looks aren't too in depth i didn't want to do that to anybody <laughs> so for day 11 i've got four face charts because i chose your hogwarts house color for day 11. here are gryffindor and hufflepuff and slytherin and ravenclaw and I also have the gems for everybody. Day 12, I did a Beetlejuice babe. You've got the sandworm liner, purple around the lids and underneath the lids and contour with some green. You've got the ombre green and purple lip. And then I have this stuff that this moss that you can like glue on your face and um you know make green around it and everything like that like beetlejuice this is kind of like what i did last year i will link that tutorial right there for my beetlejuice and uh yeah i just thought we'd do a pretty beetlejuice basically and last but definitely not least we've got a sugar skull from halloween this one is going to be pretty much make your own when i do this i just chose turquoise i thought it was a pretty color you can put a gemstone there i put gemstones underneath the eyes um um, you can change the flower. You don't have to have these or these or this, you know, whatever you want to do. I think that this one is like kind of whatever you want to do, however you feel comfortable around doing it. You can pick whatever color. You can pick whatever you want. You can do it exactly how I do it on the pictorial. You can change the color up, whatever. Yeah, so that is my little contribution to Sephora this year, Sephora Ween. Like I said, I have all the goodies in there, all the stickers and all of the uh gemstones you're gonna need i'm excited i don't know if everybody's gonna want to do it i don't know if you know if if one other person does it it'll make me happy but if nobody does it i'm still gonna do it um it's just i want to do it and um you know uh, this is my this is my time of year um i will be doing a look pretty much every day in october whether it be one it won't be one of these because those are going to be reserved for the last 13 days those first 18 days though i'm going to rock it how i want to rock it um so yeah i'm going to try and do some cool stuff and i'm gonna try and record that but i don't know how that's gonna go y'all know me y'all know my schedule it ain't on track but anyway this is the first video that you are seeing of me this is wendy darling wednesday this is what i do on wednesdays mondays is makeup friday is whatever i feel like doing uh who knows what those are going to be so stay tuned for those please click the subscribe button um yeah i'm here every monday wednesday friday sort of kind of i'm trying but anyway click that notification bell so you will be notified every time i upload a new video and yeah i hope that you're doing well i will see you in the next one bye